You know, I was walking through downtown Manhattan. Here we are, one of the world's most prestigious investment banks. And across the street, the headquarters of one of the world's most finan uh, prominent financial institutions, payment cards, etc. And I was looking at young professionals walking down the sidewalk. And I was thinking, most of those jobs are going to be gone very, very quickly. As a matter of fact, as AI matures and learns to adopt its true transportation rails, DOT, etc., the concept of job will be obsolete nomenclature. Think about this. If you're not producing value, value that is readily and aggressively sought, you have no value. So my advice to the young people graduating college, don't think in terms of jobs, think in terms of productivity and value. If you think in terms of jobs, you probably will not have one, okay? Particularly if you are just starting out or if you are one of the older workers and are used to uh, rote memorization and repetitive jobs or repetitive actions. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of other go to AI clips and AI pundits who say, you know, if you have a repetitive job, it will be gone, but they don't really explain why. Okay. Creativity, human creativity is one thing that has not been replicated by AI. And it may be a while. What may look like human creativity is just the recollection of a vast pool of human experience and knowledge. But to actually create takes something a little different. If you don't know the difference, you're probably one of those people who will be without a job. Okay, so I feel for you people. And also, since I have at least one college-age child, I realize that the schools and universities are still anti-AI. They want to make sure you don't use AI for testing and for homework. Go back to 1995, where schools would say, don't use the internet for your homework, don't use a computer. Let's go back to 1975, don't use a calculator. They're actually teaching you not to learn the technology that will obsolesce you and your position before you even get into a job. So not only are you looking down the obsolescence barrel, your academic institutions are trying to kick you down that barrel. Think about that. 